What is up, yo? It's me, your boy Main. I'm finally back. I've been gone for some time, but uh, as you can see, I'm back in Latvia and I got my 200SX behind me. Uh, welcome to the all new viewers. Welcome to the returning viewers. I've been away for some time, but now I'm back. So I got uh, done a lot of stuff. Uh, let me show you. So number one. Hey, what the hell? It's lifting itself up. No way. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, yeah, so I got new hood shocks uh, from Phase 2 Motor Trend. The carbon edition. Really nice. Now I can swap out my hoods. I have my red hood laying outside that I need to sand and paint. Uh, I think I will get rid of this. Or I just might keep it and actually drill the vents so it has some kind of a function so that's an upcoming project um i also need to paint the hinges because they look really bad that was terrible so yeah i need to paint the hinges too um yeah number two i got new motor mounts it's quite difficult to see but there they are i did the engine mounts and transmission mounts off camera so the car is way way better with those um, yeah, I can't just uh, explain the difference, but beforehand the, the whole engine was like shaking, like wobbling. Now it's like super still. I cannot balance a coin like on a Bentley or something, but uh, still, I, I feel like it's a major improvement. But because of that, as you can see, the strut brace does not fit, but uh, that's not a big problem. Um, Next year I will get the coilovers, so I will probably space that up or make some plates to rise up the strut brace. Yeah, that's that. So interior wise, there is nothing uh, new, nothing like special. Um, I had some problems with the diffy gauges. I had connected them wrong. So now I flipped them over and now the temperatures are correct. I also finally got my head unit to work and it's real nice, it's glowing up red just like everything else here, so fits really well. I haven't done anything with the Power FC yet, that's uh, for later. Yeah, oh yeah, also I'm looking for a uh, Lexus IS200 dead pedal that I want to fit here, like with modifications, just so I have the full set. Um, this is how the rear portion of the car is looking. Um, not no new no new changes here. Um, yeah, looks pretty good and clean. Don't plan to do anything else there. Oh yeah, another big improvement are headlights. So yesterday I polished and cleaned headlights. As you can see, they're super bright now. Also, I freed up the adjustment screw on the both sides. So now I can adjust the headlights that's what i did yesterday so now i actually don't blind oncoming traffic so that's awesome also while i was away in norway you might see that there's no crack here what the hell yeah my dad was so nice that he took my car to the repair shop and got my windshield changed so that's also done so i'm actually done with a lot of the points from the inspection and some extra goodies the car is still sitting on the Borbat wheels. Um, excuse the mess in the background, I haven't really cleaned up. Um, but uh, yeah, overall the fitment is nice. It's looking pretty much the same, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. The whole last week I was working on my brother's car. He has like a Volvo V40 that had bent valves and a snap timing belt. So I spent the whole week repairing that car. Um, we succeeded and it worked. He's very happy. I'm happy that I'm done with it. So now I can focus on my car. Um, I don't have really big plans other than doing the hood and the hinges and maybe some other stuff. Um, oh yeah, and actually I have the inspection. I have temporary inspection for one month and that means I can drive around. That's why I haven't been filming because I've been just driving around and enjoying the car. <laughs> This time the inspection guy was actually really chill and I got only seven points. I wasn't even like, I wasn't even tryharding. I just went there and uh, 
went with the, all the mods and he just understood that I just want to take this uh, sick leave for one month and he just gave it to me and put only like seven points which all are reasonable so uh, respects to, to that guy like you're fucking cool thanks man um yeah either way uh today's video um i'm planning to since it's summer and it's super nice weather here in latvia it's gonna be like 27 degrees in on coming days i really want to go to the beach with my girlfriend and i want to make the car nice so she enjoys the ride so i will be doing a little bit of car audio because right now the motor mounts are good everything is good yes the exhaust is loud and the coilovers are shot but i cannot do anything with that right now but one thing i can do is i can do the speakers um i'm gonna show you the current situation i have this cool pioneer head unit which actually has bluetooth and a usb stick which is really nice it's pretty new and it even has a microphone that i haven't installed so it would be nice to get the whole system going um i had some connectivity issues beforehand but i fixed that so now it's running super stable it was a bad connector on the back and uh, yeah i want to install the speakers i have done it previously like years ago i don't know if you can pick that up i don't know if you guys can see that but let me play with the light but those are not uh, original speakers those are focal speakers so they are actually like medium line they're not like the cheapest stuff and they're actually pretty damn good um they have like 90 watts of rms uh, for a pair it's a kit of mids and tweeters so it's gonna be like pretty decent sound system without the sub but uh, that's not really like important right now since i'll be sitting in the front and the mids and the highs are the ones that matter and the exhaust is so loud that it will be like a constant sub so <laughs> yeah um, I'm gonna show you guys what what kit I will be installing. Um, so this is what I got laying around. I got a amp and two crossovers with the possibility to adjust the decibels for the tweeters, which is really cool. But all of this stuff is taking up a lot of space, so I'll need to find out where can I install them. Here are the tweeters. They are not installed yet, but uh, as you saw before, the woofers are installed in the car. I plan to paint this bezel black because it's looking not so good like the silver is not gonna fit in the team. The mid woofers are there and I will have to drill a hole in this triangle piece and mount this one there. It's gonna fit perfectly just needs to be aligned and as I said I want to paint it black so it uh, kind of disappears into the darkness because now it's popping out and it's looking quite weird. It, it, it gives me like this year 2k like vibe which I don't really like, so I just want it to be blacked out and hidden, so uh, I'll be doing that. And as you can see, yeah, it's like w with an angled piece, so it's gonna fit there perfectly, it's gonna be aimed towards me. Same is gonna happen on that side, so yeah. Cable management wise, I think I will be installing the amp and the crossovers behind my seat and routing the cables. I can draw the power from the uh, bus bar box that I've made bit dark here but uh, that's there so it's gonna be quite short way to the back side of the seat so I think the layout is going to be something like this um, I need to find like a piece of wood so I can uh, bolt everything down to the wood so it doesn't slide around so I can have all my power cables away from the seat rail so it doesn't short out so I'll be routing everything uh, around here off behind the center console and yeah i have almost everything to make this running i don't have the rca cables but uh, i might just take a little tour to the shop and get them so that's the game plan for today i don't know if i will make it i have some other plans planned in the middle but uh, once that's that that's quite hidden there nobody's gonna see that um yeah it's a bit counterintuitive if you think like uh if you asked me 10 years ago do you need speaker system in uh, s13 i would say no you have the exhaust, why the hell do you need that? That's extra weight. You know, it's race car, bro, but um, I don't know. Now the cars are like um, getting up in value and I've had this car for over 10 years and seeing it come together in such a good state, like this is the best condition it's ever been, uh, like technically, except the visuals. 
like all the body kits are damaged and so on but the rest of the car has come along so good that i just want to keep treating it and uh, putting in this uh, little sound system it's not going to be like too obnoxious but yeah and it's not going to be that heavy either so i just want to have good sound while i'm cruising because now that as i said the cars are going up in value and uh I really want to take care of it now. It's not like uh, it's disposable, like E36 that you can buy. Like that as well as like those cars are also going up in prices. So you know what I mean? So yeah, just want it to be nice and enjoyable and pleasure. It's time to make some progress and step out of the 90s for a little bit. Just the, yeah, audio wise. The rest will stay 90s and 2000s. So yeah. All right, so I have found this back side of the shelf. Uh, it's like three millimeters thick, two and a half. Uh, I don't want to use anything thicker because I don't have uh, so much height. But uh, this is going to be just fine. I need to make a cardboard template from the back side of the seat. Place it here, cut it out and I want to paint it black so it's uh, hidden. Uh, also, I already prepared the tweeters. I have masked out the cones or the elements or the woofers or whatever you call them and uh, yeah they're ready for the paint i think i did a really good job didn't damage any of the elements and uh, yeah i think it's gonna be really nice So I used this color, so it's really bad, the results are terrible and as you can see it does not like the plastic I guess. So I tried to wipe it off, it didn't work. I have like a big can of acetone, so I'm going to clean it up and try this vinyl spray. This should work, it should work on plastics and all other stuff and it gives like more matte finish. So. Uh, fuck, I wish I had seen this one before, but uh, yeah, now I have to clean up this mess. This will be tricky and I don't want to damage the elements. Not gonna lie, I was like super stressed out that I'll get it messed up, but uh, as Stone did wonders. I cleaned up all the bezels around. I didn't bother cleaning up the inside because it will get covered by the mesh, so it won't be that uh, visible. And. Uh, when I paint, I'll put a new layer of it anyway, so um, I just need to blow it out with uh, compressed air and I think I can paint it. I think I did a good job again. Whew. I mean, yeah, not often you are uh, so lucky that you can save things, but I guess this time I was super lucky and I, I managed to save it. So let's hope for the best. I hope this paint is good. Um, I have painted some inside panels with it. Um, it's actually really nice and matte and smooth, so I think I will be happy with the results, but uh, let's not jinx it, let's not talk too soon, and let's put on some paint. As you can see, it does have some orange peel. That's just how it is. I don't have an airbrush to make it like perfect, but uh, this is going to be it. I'm satisfied with the way it looks. It's going to dry over time. It's going to be more matte and uh, maybe even the uh, orange peel will even out. All right, so here's the progress. I have bolted down the amp and the crossovers onto the plate. It's looking nice and clean. I'm super happy with the way it came out. Um, the tweeters came out perfect. As you can see, little to no orange peel, so I'm super happy. So what I need to do is just to peel off the tape, put in the meshes, and they'll be ready for the install. This is the finished product. Came out amazing. I don't think it can get any better than this. Nice and clean, crisp lines all around. Hell yeah, I call this a win. So here's a quick little update. I have come so far. I have connected all the crossovers. I got my power and my ground wire, got my fuse. So I have prefabricated most of the stuff outside the car. 
uh, what's left is just uh, attaching the speakers the RCA and the remote control wire I have installed the tweeters I have drilled the mounting points and I have just loosely fitted them I'll adjust the positioning once I put the trim back on that door uh, still needs soldering as you can see the wires are dangling there that speaker is not connected um, yeah I think I'll finish the door I'm gonna give you an update how it looks and then I'll continue to add the power from the bus bar ground and remote and RCA cables okay so it is the next day I'm looking kind of rough from all that working but uh, let me show you I think I'm done with it the door is assembled the door card is on the tweeter is there the woofer is there everything is looking nice um as you saw previously other side is also complete i did all the wiring and i can show you guys how it looks okay so here it is my minecraft server it has all the dead data wham you will ever need um yeah no i think it's pretty good uh it's kind of sleek and I did a right job on cables. It doesn't pop that much. This place is great because nobody is ever going to sit behind me and I need all that space because I like to drive uh, like laid back. So yeah. I have already tested out the audio. Um, it sounds kind of good. I need to maybe put the gain down a little bit. I need to do the trick with the multimeter to set the correct gain. Um, and yeah, the door cards, they are rattling. And I need to build some kind of a spacer to pull the woofers out a little bit more. It would be nice to actually get some sound deadening panels and uh, like a foam. But other than that, I'm very happy, very satisfied. And I think it's time to move on to the next project.